What is up? This is Justin, aka FM Digi, and I'm here with a cool new uh, experiment video I did. So I took my US database and swapped it all over. So the teams in the Premier League are scattered among the uh, ninth tier down below, and everyone up moved up. It's kind of weird since there's way more leagues down below than there is up top, but we're going to see how it goes. Um, I've simmed this out quite a bit, and um, yeah, let's just get into it. All right, guys, as you can see, it's June 24th, 2019, beginning of a new save. And what I have done is this is the new U.S. Premier League. Um, like I said, I swapped all the teams in the pyramid, uh, moved them up. So basically, I took, you know, four teams from each league and moved them up into here depending on reputations. So everything's based on the reputation of the teams in the game. But so the lowest reputation teams are here in the Premier League. And um, then the next lowest are here. So when you see your favorite team locally, uh, make sure you like hit the like button. Uh, yeah, so here we've got more teams here. So I'm curious to see how this is going to work. I have simmed it out in uh, five-year increments out a little bit, but I have been really diligent as not to peak. So I have no idea how it ends up. Um, league one, league two. So you're going to see, uh, well, there's a lot of FC <laughs> right there. Um, got to a point here where I started just kind of randomly picking some because a lot of them had reputation of a 1,000. I think there was about a 100 or so. And it was kind of hard to distinguish them. Um, yeah, I did this all in the pregame editor. Uh, League two. So here, you know, we have four teams in the in the um, U.S. lower leagues here. So I mean, again, these are still teams that would probably still be in this league. So that's the weird thing here. So these are teams that are still going to be in here. Probably, you know, we're in here before, and now we get into the um, national lower leagues where you're going to see some of your USL and um, MLS teams currently now. So let's see, we've got Atlanta United and Atlanta United too. I did not realize I did that. Oops. Um, interesting. So yeah, let's um, take a look at all that. Everything else should be exactly the same. All I did was swap the leagues. So let's go out five years and see um, kind of what, what has happened. All right, guys, we are here, July 1st, 2024. Um, I guess let's take a look and see, oh, what's the best way to do this? Kind of don't want to, let's go USA. Yep. And let's start with the Premier League. So who has won it? Wow, Athletic Union and then Greek American Atlas. So these are teams that, you know, the Premier League does give a lot of money. I mean, if you look at the rules, so I'm very curious how these teams are going to do. I mean, look at that, 30 million, 29 million. So I'd be willing to bet that Greek American Atlas has got some money in the bank. Um, <laughs> yeah, they do. They, they got a few bucks in the bank. Uh, let's look at their transfer history real quick. Um, going back the first year, they didn't do anything. Second year, yeah, they brought in 27 million worth of players. Anybody we know? Hmm. Ardez. I don't know. Learning the name still. And then here, bringing 28 million the next season. It looks like this next season after that, they did bits. Yeah, 81 million. Um, Martinez. So yeah, they spent some money, splash some cash, brought in guys from around the world. Um, didn't really sell off anybody. Sell off a bunch of it looks like smaller, smaller players. Brought in eighty-two. Oh my gosh, sold sixty-eight. One nineteens. They're really not spending money on one player. They're kind of spreading out, and then same with their sale, their, their sales. So that's interesting to say the least. Um, 
Did I just see that right? Jermaine Jones is their coach. Olusande. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. So he's doing pretty well for them as well. But, um, I mean, I'm sure there's been some movement, but I kind of want to see more where the lower league teams are. You can look, uh, pause it to check out each league, kind of see where they are five years in. I really wish I didn't have to do this. See how the promotions are going, relegations. See any teams we're starting to realize yet since it has been five years. Um, interestingly enough, the academy teams are going to make it ahead of the uh, their their teams. They are academies for a little earlier, more than likely. National Premier up. Oh, do I see LA? Yeah, New York City. Okay, so now we're starting to see some teams get through. Uh, they did okay. Um, wow. What kind? Of, let's let's look at them. So they're the first ones, kind of out of the shoot. Um, estimated value of 91 million, so that's gone down a little bit. Uh, got a payroll budget, pretty decent payroll budget. Um, not bad. I mean, they're still doing things. Let's look at their transfers. So they left and they let out more than they brought in. Still spending the money though, that's good. Still spending money. Yep. Uh, I do want to look at their schedule just to see how their um oh haven't played yet this year. How their home matches are doing. So I mean twenty six thousand there. Let's just pick another random one here. Twenty two thousand. I mean they're playing in the lowest league in the United States and still getting twenty two thousand to show up. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, any other teams here? Not really. I don't want to make this too long of a video, so I'm not going to spend too much time on each one. But yeah, New York City looks to be the team that's going to kind of come out of this fastest. Um, Orlando, Seattle Sounders up there doing well. I mean, it's going to take a while. You know, only a couple teams can go up at a time. So we're going to have some bottlenecks. In here, kind of up near the top. I mean, look at this. There's five teams with a hundred over hundred points, a three-way tie with 105 points on the season. So that's crazy. So this is what's going to happen as these lower teams get relegated down. Um, and these awesome teams are still there. They're going to kind of flop over um, early on. That's what I expect. Uh, let's see here. Like Galaxy winning this one. So it looks like they got held up a little bit. Um, Kansas City, Sporting Kansas City up there. Wells got promoted first year. Interesting. Um, again, I'm going to go a little quick. Oh, Phoenix Rising. Come on, guys. Uh, Atlanta United up there. Well, let's see how this all turns out. Not really a lot of big teams here. Interesting, I guess uh, this is the way the cookie crumbles. They didn't get, uh... okay, let's look here. Lenny United 2 is getting promoted. None of the Premier League teams here, a couple of academy teams. Uh, Portland 2, Cosmos B, Austin is a tough team. Yeah, it looks like these MLS teams are the first ones to get promoted out of this one. Oh, interesting. Bethlehem got promoted or won the league twice. They have an affiliation of some sort. They do. Okay. They got promoted, couldn't go up. Interesting. Uh, one of the things with the database, I'm still torn on how I did. Um, 
with those things like that. Uh, let's see. Lake Galaxy, Colorado, Salt Lake. No one in here really too crazy. Southern. Seattle, Tampa Bay, Reno. So we're getting some USL teams, or in real life USL. Valley, I don't think that's it. <laughs> LA Galaxy Academy and then LA Galaxy 2 got promoted. Swill Park Rangers. Okay, let's look at the FA Cup. So, I mean, we're still having the big teams. Oh, except for this. Polonolia, Melashic. Melikic. I had to say this in one of my episodes. I think when I played um, my American Hitchhiker series, I played them, but I've forgotten how to say it. Polonia, Melich. So they won the FA Cup a couple years in. The National Cup has been, you know, kind of <laughs> tainted or messed around there. Um, I'm shameless enough that these smaller teams are winning the National Cup. I guess because they were best of the best because these ones were not in, eligible for the National. Oh, wait. i got to remember how I set those rules up. League Cup is your League 2 and above. So none of the big clubs have made it in there yet. Okay, let's look at the NACL. Uh, no, it's CONCACAF. Champions League, see how that's doing. Interestingly enough, Greek American Alice. I mean, they're taking the world by storm. They may be the, uh, may be the uh, Cinderella's of this one. Um, okay, let's look. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think what else we can look at real quick. Uh, I think that's good. Let's go another five years and check it out. All right, July 1st, 2029, 10 years into the future. Let's get in with the Premier League. Don't peek. Okay, Premier League. So we've already seen some teams make it all the way back up. Greek American Atlas is gang busting, running away. Look at that. That is nuts. Interestingly enough, July 1st, and now we're not doing the other stuff there. Um, but yeah, so we've got Seattle Sounders in here, Red Bulls, New York City, LA, Detroit City, American Hitchhiker, if you're following, which you should be. Good to see them up there. You know what? Let's look at their history real quick. Started in League One with Championship and been in Premier League ever since. Second place finish a couple of years ago. Good job, guys. Proud of you. Um, did I see? Okay, I thought I saw a name familiar. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, Greek American, I, I kind of want to see what they're doing with their transfers. Jermaine Jones, still the coach. We left off here, spent 43 million, you know, almost sold 20 million, so that's not too bad. They're, they're basically selling everything they're getting here. Oh my gosh, it's nuts. And they're still winning the league handover you know, easily. Shed and payroll, look at that. It's nuts. Intriguing, intriguing. Um, where are their players from? So let's look at their starter. So, I mean, that's a, holy cow, that's a mixed bag. Not good for the U.S., though. Hmm, interesting. I'm curious to see how the world rankings go. We'll look at that after this. Um, go back here. Okay, let's go to the championship. So we've got lots of teams getting shots at winning. FC Arizona won twice. That means they bounce back. Um, Cincinnati in here. LA Galaxy in here. Portland, Orlando, 
a couple of Premier League clubs up there. League One, um, kind of as expected. We'll see if the teams get a little bit more thinned out to, you know, kind of everything real, realigns itself to where it should be. Um, Wilson League One is down in stature quite a bit. Let's look at the Premier League and see how that changed. They're still number one. Championship number two. League One went down quite a bit. League Two is about the same. DC United hanging out here. They're taking a while to get back up. Philly. I think that's it there. Uh, National Premier, Atlanta United stuck there. Man, whenever I simulate just a regular uh, few years in my database, they're always up there with the top. So the fact they got stuck back there is interesting to see. Kansas City. So we got some MLS or um, Premier League clubs there. Let's see who else is a Premier League club. I don't think there's anyone here. Colorado Rapids, I believe. They're having a slow rise. I wonder if anyone's still stuck down there. Phoenix Rising. Or New York Academy and two. So some USL teams. Real life USL teams. I don't think I see anyone in here. That is a top division club that's stuck. Academy teams, of course. Yeah, nobody here, looks like. I'm going to go through these real quick. You can pause it as you like. Chicago Fire? No, Concord Fire. Um, interesting. Okay, we'll look at the FA Cup. I mean, Greek American. I mean, they're in a roll. Detroit City with the FA Cup. That's awesome. Good job. And National Cup. So that's the teams. Um, that's the the three teams outside. It's the National Premier, National League Division One and Division Two. So this is going to be a lot of the turnover will happen right here. And then the league is the top four leagues. Detroit City winning that one too. Good job, guys. Um, let's check out World Rankings World Cup just because it's cool to look at. Germany and England were your last winners. Um, you want to see... How USA is doing in the world. We're as high as 8th. Now 10th. I mean, they're not really moving too much around. Some of the best players in the war in, in the United States are not playing. Yeah, Ed Tuck playing Greek American. Yeah, a couple guys playing in the United States, but most of them playing overseas. Um, okay, let's do one more. Let's go 20 years in the future kind of see if everything kind of evened out by now. All right, guys, July 1st, 2039, 20 years in the future, and there's no available jobs. Um, let's look at USA. So currently ranked 13th in the world. Not too bad. Um, I have ninth. Let's look just real quick, their competition. Uh, not doing well in the World Cup. It's too bad. Let's go back over here. United States Premier League. Man, New York or Greek American. Look at that run. They won every single title from 2020. That's 14 years of titles they had there. Finally upended by New York Red. The New York is taking it control. Where is Greek American anyway? Curious to see if they're in New York. Where are they? My facilities in New York, interestingly enough. Interesting. So, yeah, New York is the uh, United States capital of uh, soccer, football, if you will. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we've got lots of you. We got one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten out of twenty teams have come back to the Premier League twenty years in. So it's taken a long time for them to get back. Um, looking at the championship, Rapids crew. I think most few in there. Kind of go through this quick a little bit again. Uh, having all sorts of movement here. I love seeing these winners in these smaller leagues bouncing around. Any uh, Premier League clubs down here? Didn't look here in League One. No, oh, Revolution. They may be the worst one yet. Uh, 20 years in, and they haven't gotten to the Premier League. 11, Vegas. Yeah, not much going on there. All the FCs again, the bulking up in there. The park. Go through these again a little quick. Lots of turnover with these leagues. Puerto Rico bouncing back. Enemy teams kind of leading the way in here. Ruby, sorry. It's getting late. All right. Oops, I went backwards. The FA Cup. Lots of teams getting in on that. Not too bad. I like that. I like seeing the you know, Irish Americans mixing in there. I hadn't seen them yet. Uh, let's check the National Cup. Some of the lower teams winning that. And then the League Cup. I yeah, should see kind of the cream rising to the top in the last few years as more teams make it in. Um, I do want to look at, whoops, overall, um, what am I doing, USA, but overall transfers, kind of seeing what's going on. Now let's see, kind of, whoops. Oh, yeah, it does it weird like this when you do it like this. Um, let's just look in the Premier League. Red Bulls, Premier League, transfer. There we go. So we can look here. We did have, send some money, send some money, some good players out to bring in some money in. Uh, sending those players out, bringing that money in. There we go. We got some big money coming in. Uh, oh, 143 million. Wagner Generosi over to Liverpool. Not bad. Decent numbers there. Uh, let's see what else. 116 million. Greek American. Those guys are gangbusters. That's awesome to see. Awesome to see a small club like that turn it around. That might be a fun, if, you, if you're thinking about a save to do, think about Greek American. They have some potential. Uh, Detroit's getting in there a couple times, selling, getting some money. Yeah, look at those big fees. I mean, the United States doing well. Let's look at, do want to look to see how they're doing in world rankings. Pretty much hovering around. I think we did. We just look at this one. I think we just did. I'm asleep. But we can look at World Cup. Ooh, England. If you're in England, I like to see that. Screenshot that right now. Um, let's see how U.S. has done. U.S. won here, won their, won their group. Oh, man, that's a tough group. Portugal, Denmark, South Korea. Get out of there with five points. Second round, we say beat Holland. Nice. 
quarterfinal round, losing to Argentina on penalties. Um, let's go 2026. Whoops, spoiler alert. That's when we do stupid things. It advanced out of that, the second round. United States beat Serbia. Good. United States beat Switzerland in the third round. Back to the quarterfinal, beat Holland again. Semifinal. Oh, it was by a touchdown. All right. Um, six, and we'll look at the 2030 season. Percy. Did not make it? Embarrassing. You don't see it in there. Oh, there. You were saying, okay, we did win. So let's look at second round. USA, USA. 2 nothing or 2-1 win in extra time against Colombia. Third round. We like the extra time against Austria win. Quarter final matchup, lose to Spain. Go to the 2034 season. Came in second in our group there. Everyone had three points. Ooh, that's tight. Um, second round. Why can't I not see it? Here we are. Lost to England in the second round. Go to the most recent one. 2038. You probably already saw it if we're in there. So went up with Denmark. Second round. Lost to Brazil. Had one or two good World Cups there. Um, not too bad. I'm, I'm very curious to see how this... Uh, well, let me go look here. The national team doesn't have a lot more United States clubs. It does. Good. Good. Keeping the talent at home. Good. I mean, still a good mix. I think we'll end it there. Um, we'll come back and do 30, 40, 50 years in the future to kind of see where um, everything kind of evens out. Thank you guys so much. That was my experiment flipping the United States pyramid over on itself, um, rearranging the teams. Uh, part one, hope you guys liked it. I will be doing a part two here in the next few days. But if you haven't already subscribed, please consider throwing a subscribe, hitting that like, smashing that like button as well. And if you wanted to see anything different, um, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I know I kind of rushed through that. I don't want to make it too boring and too long of a video. But let me know um, things you want to see, and I'll try to incorporate them into the next video. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.